Following Darth Vader's debilitating injuries sustained on Mustafar after his defeat to Obi-Wan, the Sith Lord was dependent upon his cybernetics and suit to sustain his life. Initially, having been brought from Mustafar to Coruscant, the original designs of the suit were determined by Darth Sidious and the medical droids who tended to Vader's injuries. However, in both the current canon and the former legends, Vader made it clear to Sidious that he, and not the droids who he saw as inept, would be making all further modifications to his suit and cybernetics going forward, to better adhere to his desired specifications. It's actually pretty surprising how close the canon and legends depictions are of Vader's convincing his master that only he would be making repairs to his cybernetics, but there are a number of important differences as well. In this video expose, I will compare these similarities and differences found within both the canon and legends, and describe how Vader angrily convinced Sidious to let him repair his suit in cybernetics. Let's start with the legends version of events. In Legends, Vader's journey to making it clear to his master that the droids would not be continuing in their position of repairing a suit begins with the Sith Lord's first mission for Sidious. After a number of clone troopers ignored Order 66 on the planet of Mercana, Sidious decided it was time to reveal Vader as his authority and sent him to Mercana to publicly punish the clones who disobeyed his order. However, Vader had other priorities upon Mercana. Knowing that there were Jedi survivors of the Purge there, he was focused on confronting the Jedi rather than merely punishing the rogue clones. And it wasn't long before Vader got his wish. After publicly executing two of the disobeying clones and beginning his hunt to execute the others who fled, a Jedi Knight named Bol Shattak rose to face the Sith Lord and protect the clones that saved her life. Eventually, having engaged Shattak in lightsaber combat, Vader was able to amputate her lightsaber arm and then end the duel by decapitating the unarmed Jedi Knight. However, the duel was not so easy for Vader. Having been the first Jedi he confronted since his injuries on Mustafar, the adaptation to his new suit clearly plagued the Sith Lord in the duel. Amazingly, joining the likes of Dooku, Asajj Ventress, and Obi-Wan, the undistinguished Jedi Knight Bolsh Attack was able to score a hit on Vader, inflicting a wound to the cybernetics of Vader's forearm and unleashing an explosion of sparks and smoke. Having succeeded in his mission on Mercana, a furious Vader ultimately ventured back to the medical facility on Coruscant to repair his forearm, blaming Sidious's medical droids for having slowed his reflexes by burdening him with excessive armor and padding. Or perhaps believing an even worse outcome, that the medical droids purposefully engineered his cybernetics to debilitate him on instructions from Sidious. Regardless, Vader vowed to never again let others decide his fate. When he was joined by Sidious in the medical facility, Vader made it clear to his master that he didn't trust the droids to carry out repairs to his injured forearm. When Sidious remarked in surprise that Vader was supervising his own engineering of his cybernetics, Vader angrily snapped at Sidious that he would remain the ward and overseer of himself from that point forward. Going further, Vader told his master that only he would be overseeing not just repairs, but modifications to the suit as well. And Sidious got the message. Although he was troubled by Vader's tone and the exasperation his apprentice faced and the limitations of his suit, the Dark Lord of the Sith could do nothing but agree to Vader's request, telling Vader that his overseeing any and all modifications to his suit was, quote, as it should be. The way in which Vader ultimately convinces Sidious that only he would be making modifications to his suit and that he would be ward of himself going forward when it came to his cybernetics is extremely similar in the canon, with a lot of the same major beats leading up to the ultimate confrontation between Vader and Sidious. It was again the result of Vader's first mission for Sidious, an injury sustained from his first duel with a Jedi since Mustafar, that would see Vader undertake to convince his master that he would be the one to oversee all repairs on his cybernetics. Immediately after the events of Revenge of the Sith, Sidious explained to Vader the differences between the crimson lightsaber blades of the Sith and the traditional lightsabers of the Jedi, noting that the Sith made their kyber crystals bleed. With Vader recognizing that he would not simply be gifted a kyber crystal from one of the fallen Jedi through Order 66, he understood his first mission he was to achieve for Sidious. To find a Jedi survivor of the Purge and take their kyber crystal so that he could make it bleed and achieve the Crimson Blade of the Sith. 
Vader would discover a Jedi survivor of Order 66 on the mid-rim moon of Aldulim, named Karak and Phila. However, unlike Bolsh attack in Legends, Infilla was a distinguished Jedi Master, known for his combat abilities. The duel was initially extremely difficult for Vader, as the Sith Lord was almost destroyed when the Jedi Master force pushed him from the top of the mountain they were dueling upon. However, fortunately for Vader, he not only survived the fall, but was able to use the parts from Infilla's Jedi training droid to repair himself, and once again engage the Jedi Master in combat. This time, using the civilians of Aldulim against Enfila, Vader was able to kill the Jedi Master and take his kyber crystal for himself. Vader then fulfilled his mission for Sidious by taking the crystal to Mustafar to make it bleed, allowing him to then present his new crimson blade to his master upon Coruscant. Once back on Coruscant, and with Vader undergoing treatment with an Abacta tank, Sidious remarked to his apprentice that he ruined himself recognizing that his duel with Enfila caused Vader to receive a tremendous amount of damage to his suit. As Sidious was about to leave Vader, he told his apprentice, the droids will have your armor repaired in no time at all. Just as was seen in Legends, and perhaps to an even greater degree, we see that this infuriated Vader. This time, however, no words needed to be exchanged between Master and Apprentice, as Sidious clearly sensed Vader's feelings, stating, I sense your anger. I should have known, this armor is you. It is only appropriate that you should make it your own, especially with your skill as an engineer. Adjust the suit as you see fit, my apprentice. Again, we see Sidious was quick to accept that Vader would be the one to repair and modify his suit in cybernetics, as Vader wasn't willing to let the repairs be left to droids anymore. With that, Vader set out to use the Force to make the much needed repairs to his suit following his brutal confrontation with Karak and Phila. So there we have it, how Vader convinced Sidious to let him repair his suit in cybernetics as seen in both the former legends and current canon. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For RX!